Okay, I'm gonna do Tengu 5 and Tengu 6 kata as well. Tengu 6, excuse me, Tengu 5 is using a low forward gate on guard and as that cut comes towards that leading head cut from that opponent comes at you here. We back up just a little bit and make that lifting, gliding, redirection block of that sword. Here, step, cut. Again, here, step, cut. Slower. Here. Catches that sword. Flicks it over. Step around. Cut to the hip, the body, for a kill. And so, one more time. Get closer. Here. Cut. Tank you six. From a left foot hustle. We're going to do another void in that with a committed defense, very similar to uh, the idea of Tengu 4. But as we step back to void, we're also going to put the sword into a face thrust. Here. So the sword comes by. And into the face rest. Again, and then the finish for the kill, in case the face doesn't score and work, is here. Step, same cut. So So if the opponent's return recovers quickly enough, it's, a very, it's another very timing um, parry and then cut to finish. But if we're here, we come back, we can always step through if that's coming back really fast, if they stopped, or this thrust hasn't made them stop and back up. We can rotate Back to that committed defense here. Step back with the leg. Step back. Put the counter to here. So again, I'm gonna be here, 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 block. Instead of tucking it, instead of tucking it, just cut, a big circle cut. Big circle cut, counterintuitive. Bam. More and more likely, step. That was Tango 6.